located on the Black Warrior River, we're in the fifth largest city in the state of Alabama. Tuscaloosa is the site of today's game. And now the coin toss, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Ole Miss will be kicking off, and you can just feel the energy in the air for this opening kickoff. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Alabama's coaching staff, the fans, I think everybody's been waiting to see this kid play, and here he is. Well, he's a star quarterback. He seems to bring everything to the table. The crowd, I think, senses he's ready to have a big day. And when your star quarterback feels good at playing at home and he gets off to a good start, some big things can happen for this offense. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Harris gets six yards on the play. Caught out in the open. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 37 yard line. Schmidt will pick up a first down on the play with a six yard completion. And they brought the linebackers here on a blitz and they vacated some space in the secondary. He had more than enough room to pick up the first down. Nice run up the middle. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. He gets hit out of bounds at about the 49. I think he was going to go to his tight end the whole way, but the defense didn't expect it. Sometimes those big guys can fool defenders into thinking they're blocking. Gets to around the 42. And a nice tackle right there. No game on the play. That makes it second and ten. He's at the 30, and he's taken down right around the 24-yard line. Just a simple draw play there, but they picked up some big yards. Off and he's met immediately. No game. That makes it second and ten. Loss of two by the halfback. That's a loss of two yards on the play. Third down. And this is the eleventh play of the current drive. Going for it all to the end zone. Can't pull it in. Super play to time the hit just right on what looked like a sure touchdown. He really laid some lumber there. It's fourth down. They're going to try a long field goal here. Alabama is looking to go up by three. It has the distance. And he nails the long field goal. And he's got to be happy about that kick. Oh, no question. This kid is just a solid kicker. 3-0, Alabama. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. And down he goes at about the 33-yard line. Oh, 
He has some room. He gets out to about the 44-yard line. That's a deal. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. These guys just don't seem to be on the same page, and they're going to have to be if they expect to win this game. From their own 44-yard line, second down, a quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Slings it left, and he's knocked down immediately after the catch. Not a real fancy play here, just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well-placed ball. Most times, you don't need much more than that. They'll spread the field with five wide. Quick throw out to the receiver. He's tackled at the 21-yard line. Oh, and he had some steam on that throw. They'll bring him down at the seven-yard line. Good job to identify the weakness in this defense. Any good offense will exploit those holes over and over again. They come out on an empty backfield. From the seven-yard line, it's second down. After a decent run up the gut. The crowd really making it difficult. Touchdown, Mississippi. run and a score by the halfback and a nice call by the coach there just give it to your main man anytime you're near the goal line and he tacks on the extra point so a nine play 75 yard drive and it's good for seven points Brad I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense and they can forget about returning this one You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Hands off left, and they got him behind the line. More plays like this, and the coaching staff is going to need to change up the blocking scheme. You can't allow the defense to play in your backfield. Second and 13. Ball on the 22. Tackle made at the 33-yard line. Tackle after decent pickup. Tackled after positive yardage. Harris picks up about four yards on the play. The tailback brought down for a loss. Call a loss of one yard on the play. That makes it third and seven. And so it's another third down upcoming here. Three down, three down. 87's getting the ball. 87. He's on the run, and they get the sack. The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. Doesn't look like he's going to have much time to get rid of this punt. 
He really got a hold of that one. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. The Rebels' offense, I thought, answered the doubters big time with an impressive opening drive, and they got on the board first. Yeah, when you're in a hostile environment, you want to play with a little bit of a chip on your shoulder and just show people that you're not intimidated by the environment. They sure did that that first time out. I was really impressed with their last series. They came out with a focus on the passing game, and the offense got the job done. We'll see if they have the same strategy here. And he shoved out of bounds right around midfield. Ole Miss is up by four. Thank you. Brought down to 39-yard line. And they make the stop, the 37-yard line. tries to buy some time and he's tackled right around the 36 yard line becoming the 12th man the crowd is always into it here and he just gets rid of it so it's fourth down They'll call on the field goal unit. He gets it up, and it's long enough, and he splits the uprights. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Ole Miss's defense really came to play early in this football game. Well, they've done a good job here early, but you know eventually this offense is going to start clicking. Let's see if this defense can sustain this for the rest of the game. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Fires out to his receiver. He's pushed out of bounds around the 49-yard line. Taken down at the 29-yard line. Just throws this one away. From the 29-yard line, second down. There's the strike complete. And he is drilled at the 23. Inside the 10. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. the eighth play of the series. He's going to try and scramble. Tackle at the five. He keeps it and maybe gets three yards. This isn't much more than an extra point. He 
It's up, and he's got it. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding him to a field goal right there. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Rebels really taking care of business early in this football game. Yeah, somebody forgot to tell them that they're the big underdog in this game and they're supposed to lose. I love their confidence that they're playing with right now. The defense was able to keep them out of the end zone on their last possession, but the offense did pick up three. Ole Miss is up four. Quick shot to the open receiver, and he can't hang on to the ball. So it's second and ten. Ball in the 25. Throws complete. He's got room to work. And they push him out at about the 31. The intimidation factor is definitely here when you're playing in this stadium. A little toss across the middle. Brought down in the open field. He gets out to about the 38-yard line. after losing a couple on that run. From their own 43-yard line, second down. We played one. The Rebels lead 10-6. Back to the action here in the second quarter. It's been a good one and a tight one at this point. Ole Miss holds a four-point lead. Taken down right around the 48 yard line. Brown is the punter. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. This offense is just going to be kicking themselves. They're moving the ball very well. In fact, they're getting into their opponent's territory. Only problem is they're not finishing off the drives with touchdowns. They're having to settle for field goals. That could eventually catch up to them. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. A yard, maybe two on the carry. That makes it second and eight. Throws, tipped away. Great instinctive timing by the corner to deflect the pass. That's just really solid coverage skills. Third down, eight yards to go. Ball on the 22-yard line. He goes out of bounds at about the 29-yard line. Moore is back to receive. It's away, and it's a booming punt. And down he goes at the 41-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. 
Ole Miss is up by four. Scrambling around. Gains his way to the 39-yard line. Makes it to the 31. That makes it second and two. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. Game of seven yards. First down. Coming up the edge. Coming up the edge. Finds his man and they take him down immediately. That's good for a game of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. The 10. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Nothing there on the keeper. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. Down he goes at the two. A one-yard gain by the halfback. Nice play here by the senior to make the sure tackle. It's not very often that someone's able to shake this guy. Listen to this place. Nice move, and he scores. This is what an offensive lineman hopes for, an opportunity to impose his will on the defense. And he converts the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So we're just about ready to return to action. He's to the 40. He's at midfield. He's finally tackled at the 37-yard line. He carried that one for a huge game. You know what? You can see the ball carrier showcase his speed. Once he got into the open field, he just turned on the Jets and flew. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. it out to maybe the 23 yard line. He's got a 
nose for the end zone. What more can you say? He wasn't giving up on that run until he was in for the score. And he adds the extra point. Alabama to kick. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Ole Miss is up four. He makes a catch and has a first down. That's a game of 13 on the way. First down. Steps up and he's sacked for a loss. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. He just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. Second and 15. Ball on the 32. Mike eight. Mike eight. Leg five, leg five. Up the middle for a nice game. These fans are showing you why teams hate to come here, folks. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. That is money in the bank. Sometimes you just can't stop a good combination. He's on the run. Tackle made around the 39-yard line. That makes it first and ten. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. That's good for a game of four yards. That makes it second and six. Got a receiver, and he dropped it. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 29. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. He's scrambling. Brought down at the 32. Ole Miss holds a four-point lead. The kick is up, and he nails the long field goal. They line up to kick this one away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It's early in this game, so the defense can still have an opportunity to make some adjustments. But if things don't turn around in a hurry, it's really going to start to affect the psyche of that defensive line. And off to the left. That's a great tackle at the 28-yard line. Once and all, going deep. And they make the stop at the 15-yard line. That'll push him over the 100-yard mark in receiving. You know, Brad, this guy continues to make plays. If I'm the defensive coordinator, I would put a corner on him down low underneath, and I'd put a safety over top of him, put two defenders on him to try to slow him down because right now, one-on-one -on -one coverage, he is destroying. And there's still a lot of ball game to play, fellas. It's second down now, 13 to go. Ball on the 18-yard line. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense.
He gets rid of this one. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. He gets it up, and it is good. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Ole Miss is up by four. Now he tries to buy some time. Ole Miss is going to take their first time out of the half. Second and long. Ball on the 20-yard line. Gets out to about the 21. One of the top stadiums in the nation. This crowd comes to play themselves. Makes the grab and steps out right away. First and ten. Ball on the 36-yard line. Almost picked off. Great reaction to get his hands in the way of that pass. That's not an easy play to make. That makes it second and ten. Quick strike and he drops it. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. Really a tough spot for an offense to be in against this crowd and this stadium. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. Brown to punt. He really got a hold of that one. He's out to the 30. Knocked out of bounds. Right around the 40. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Now he's scrambling. Complete. He's got room. He's pushed out of bounds around the 49-yard line. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. So we'll probably get one last heave to the end zone here before halftime. Great first half of action, and we're hoping for more of the same. 2016 Ole Miss. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Maybe the most important statistic from the first half, no turnovers for either team. So far, a good job of ball security, but now you wonder if the quarterbacks can avoid putting the ball in jeopardy. They're going to want to make a big play. 
and that might sort of set off a feeding frenzy on the defensive side. Yeah, and it's in defenses, that's the number one priority. I mean, you can give up a lot of yards. You could, They can chew up yards up and down the field, but if you can force turnovers, then you're keeping them off the scoreboard, and, and that's your number one goal. So I, defenses, they, they have to be a little bit upset right now, and they got to try to find ways to, to hit harder. How about when you're tackling? Use the strip stick. You know, be able to strip the ball out, get the ball out, try to get some interceptions, try to make some user picks, you know, do whatever you can to try to get the football back from that offense and set your offense up in good field position. I can only hope that Nestler and Herb Street will bring the same type of intensity to their call of the second half that David and I have brought to the halftime show. Of course, they always do. That's it for us here in the studio. Time to get you back out to the guys for the second half. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. He sends this one deep. Tackle made at the 18. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Ole Miss is up four. He has some room. And he's tackled at the 37. right around the 34. From their own 34-yard line, it's second down. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. He gets hit out of bounds around the 45-yard line. Always a noisy place to play and tough on the offense. He lets it fly. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. Brown awaits the snap. And he has it on the corner. He's knocked out of bounds at the 25-yard line. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Quick throw to the tight end. That's four yards on the play. He took what the defense gave him that time, which is okay. It keeps the yards to go a little bit more manageable. Quick strike to the receiver, and he's taken down at the 36-yard line. He's taken down at about the 45. sell the fake it's gonna make it easy on the linebackers and safeties to realize that, that was just a fake handoff and to get back in position but when you really work it and sell it the way that quarterback did right there that's when it's more effective it can open up the big play and they'll run him again and they got him for a loss
throw's complete. He's got room to work. Touchdown tied. So they call a tight end's number, and he comes through with the score. He did a great job here of using his size to create space for himself so the quarterback could get the ball into him without any defenders getting in the way. Where was the coverage there? There wasn't anybody near him at all. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. He makes the PAT. A nine-play, 76-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Well, this has been a fun game to watch, going back and forth and back and forth. It's almost like watching a tennis match here. Whoever has the ball last, my guess, will be the team that wins. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Pass incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. It's second and ten. Ball on the 25. And down he goes at the 26. The crowd really making it difficult. Makes the catch, and he's got nowhere to go. It's like the defense was in man coverage there, fellas, and that's why they stopped that screen. Yeah, and when the secondary isn't dropping back in the zone, it makes it difficult to have success with that kind of screen play. Brown is waiting for the snap. Tackle at the 43. The Rebels have really surprised everybody in this football game. They have not been intimidated at all, which is great to see. The attitude and effort of this team has put them in a position where they got a shot to win this game here in the second half. The quarterback did a really good job in the last drive of finding his receivers in space, and I bet he'll be looking to do the same thing again. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. They'll bring him down around the 42-yard line. Alabama is up by three. Got a man open. Bad pass. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 47. Out of bounds at the 49. DeLong is the punter. Oh, excellent punt. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense, as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. There's a strike complete, and he's down. He makes his way out to about the 35. He scrambled. Diving for extra yardage. They'll get the first down. He made the correct decision to tuck it and go. receiver look. Hey, 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 
Got his receiver, dropped it, incomplete. Booming kick. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. Alabama's team's playing very well here in the third quarter, and they're showing why they're ranked where they are right now. Yeah, there's no doubt. The sleeping giant was awakened at halftime, and now this second half, they're starting to really establish who they are and why they have such a big reputation. Alabama holds a field goal lead. Harris gets the carry, and the halfback's got nowhere to go. Throws it away. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. From their own 20-yard line, it's third down. Strike to his receiver, no good. That'll make it fourth and ten. More. Back to return it. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Moore fields it at the 34. Room around the corner. They'll bring him down at midfield. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. They get nice yardage on that run. That's a D six on the ball. That'll make it second and four. He's tackled at the 34 yard line. Just throws this one away. From the 34-yard line. Second down. Quick throw out to the receiver. Incomplete. Really one of the very tough places to play in college football, and it's no different today. Caught out in the open. Tackle made at about the 19-yard line. Number 21 makes the tackle at the 19-yard line. That, that makes, makes it first and 10. ten. And now he's got room to run. What a play, and that is first and goal. That makes it first and goal. Fires out to his receiver. Brought down at the two. That brings him second and goal. And they make the stop just outside the goal line. I don't know if they'll be able to hear his cadence in the midst of all this mayhem. Fires that quickly, incomplete. This isn't much more than an extra point. Ole Miss can tie it up here with this kick. Kicks away, and it sails through the uprights. Logan, ready to kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Time's getting a little bit tighter now. You've got to make every possession count. He gets out to about the 28-yard line.
They hand it off. And he makes it out to about the 31 yard line. And he throws it away. And they're going to have to bring on the punt team. The offense really had nowhere to go on that one. The play was very well defended, and now the incompletion will force the fourth down and a punt. The punt upcoming, and they're going to come after this one. It's away, and it's a booming punt. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. Now's when you start to approach each drive, thinking that if you take the lead, then the momentum you gain feels that much more powerful. Makes it to the 22-yard line. On and big hit there to stop it. One of the top stadiums in the nation. This crowd comes to play themselves. Battle was the intended receiver on that pass. And that will make it fourth down. Great hold by the defense. They were expecting the pass play, and they defended it very well. It looks like they're going to go after this punt. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. And he's taken down at the 42-yard line. You don't want to squander any possessions, but maybe now's the right time to dip into your bag of tricks a little. Think about some gadget plays to catch the defense napping. Hands it off. Runs it right. Nice pickup. So we played three quarters of football, and with one quarter to go, we're in a deadlock. Well, this final few minutes is going to determine this one. Tight ball game. Action set to start here in the fourth quarter. Makes it out to about the 43. And he just gets rid of it. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 43. Makes the catch and look out. And he's tackled at the 35-yard line. Quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. From the 30-yard line, second down. Tackle at the 22-yard line. first 
touchdown. Well, this really works on a defensive psyche. You can see the guys on defense right now are just trying to catch their win. Once again, they had a chance to bring this drive to a halt, but were unable to do it. The offense really seems to be clicking right now. Gains his way to the seven-yard line. Up the middle for a nice game. And he tackles him hard at the one-yard line. They try to get a head start there. Ball start. Just a middle lapse, but it's going to cost them five yards. Still second down. From the six-yard line, it's second down. Touchdown, Crimson Tide. Nice job by the offense to get the final few yards to the end zone. Yeah, they knew what play to call for in that situation and made it work. And he converts the extra point. Alabama is lining up to kick this one off. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It's been a good one so far today. Let's see what happens here. Well, the defense has a chance here to put this game out of reach. It's going to come down to this last drive here. Over two minutes to go. It's a one-possession game. And if the defense can come up with a stop, more than likely this game is over and the defense can secure a victory. Throws and it's incomplete. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. Quick throw, incomplete. Wanted his receiver. The intimidation factor is definitely here when you're playing in this stadium. Throws it to the outside. Makes the grab and steps out right away. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. He makes it to the 45-yard line. Becoming the 12th man, the crowd is always into it here. He's at the 30, knocked out of bounds at the 27th. That's a game of 18. That makes it first and 10. There's a little bit of happy feet down there on the field. Let's get the call. False start. Offense. Sometimes what happens on a false start is a lineman will see movement on the other side of the ball and be coaxed into jumping early. So we'll have first and 15 after the penalty. And he is drilled at the 23-yard line. Great job by the running back, and that's a gain of nine. Gains his way to the 13-yard line. Back 
tackled after a decent pickup. Touchdown, Rebels! That's how you're supposed to run the option. The defense just got lost there. They didn't account for everybody in the backfield, and the rest is history. The extra point to tie this game up. And he hits the PAT. A 10-play, 80-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This is when things get a little prickly. You need your playmakers to really come through here. Open incomplete. It's second and ten. Ball on their own 25. Under heavy pressure. Fires quickly and he's got his man. And down he goes at the 35. Zips it to the tight end, and he hits him hard at the 46-yard line. The halfback with a carry, and he makes it out to about the 47-yard line. as he works to the right side. And this play is number eight on the drive. He's taken down around the 21-yard line. to the 11. And he can't get away from the pressure. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. This is the 11th play of the current drive. And he makes it out to about the 14-yard line. They've been two for two on third downs in this drive, and they'll try to convert again here. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Nice run there as they work the outside. And he didn't get enough for the first. You now, Brad, he's going to come up short here. The defense does a nice job of not allowing the ball carrier to get out into the open. Kicks up. And the field goal is good. 
They line up to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Ole Miss has still got a chance here. They might come up short, but not for lack of trying. Well, I've been impressed with this team the entire way. Now we're going to really find out what they're made of. With the game on the line, late in the ball game, how do you go out next? You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. Gets it. He's in space. They'll bring him down around the 36-yard line. Check, check. That's a good answer, answer. Yards. First, First down. And two, X, seven. Catches it, and that's all. Kill, kill. Answer two. That makes it second and six. Zips it to the tailback incomplete. It's third down and six to go. Ball on the 41. And they've got the dime package in there to try and deal with this five receiver look. There's a strike complete. Tackle made around the 30-yard line. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Fires out to his wideout. He's knocked out of bounds at the 25. It's second and five here. Ball on the 25. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. He's tackled at the 24-yard line. It's arguably the loudest crowd in the nation, and they are turning it up a notch. Well, a lot frustration by that offense but you've got to give the defense credit for coming up with a stop in this quarter in a game this close so the kicker comes out he'll try to put three points on the board it's up looks long enough and he just drilled it from long range is lined up to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Wow, what a fourth quarter, Kirk. Both these teams are scoring at will. Can either one of these defenses come up with a stop? Just make a play. Otherwise, it's going to come down to who has the ball left. Here we are late in the fourth quarter, and this is what this game has come down to. Every possession is going to count, and this could be the one right here. They'll spread the field with five wide. Got his man. Oh, what a hit. Strike complete, and he's down. Seven yards there. That's a good completion. They didn't get the first down, but they picked up about seven yards. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. And they make the stop around the 14-yard line. Well, they found some seams in the coverage there. Let's see if the defense makes any adjustments to counter. And this field goal is for the game. A miss will mean overtime. It's up. Yeah. 
Yes, he made it, and this one is over. And that gives them the lead. I know that I call kickers head cases, but this kid isn't one. It's like he doesn't even feel the pressure. And this one's all but wrapped up with the final score, Alabama 36, Ole Miss 33. As we take a look at the highlights, Kurt, how would you summarize the action in this one? Well, more than anything else, I'm disappointed for the players. Ole Miss has got to be heartbroken to lose such a close game as this one was. They came in as huge underdogs, but they played their hearts out and almost came away with the big upset. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.